Think company training. What do you see? People in a classroom and a boring presentation on the screen, right? What is more, after most of the trainings, both the trainer and the participants feel tired and the new information is often hard to absorb. Is there any other way? Well, there is. It's called adventure-based learning. According to this methodology, people learn better if knowledge is provided by means of experiences. For this to happen, we create situations and surroundings participants interact with. They often include gamified scripts and digital devices. For instance, let's take our high-performing organization principles training. Let's provide the participants with a tablet and send them on a virtual mission to save Organization X. The app shows physical locations where participants need to complete certain tasks related to HPO principles. Instead of just hearing about them, the participants experience the principles and see how they work in the virtual company X. When solving the tasks, participants obtain new knowledge in a multi-sensory way that makes it easier to remember. When learning about, say, Maslow's Pyramid of Needs, participants use devices to understand each need and place it in the right position and right order on the physical pyramid. When teaching practical skills, the experiences are even more hands-on. To explain the key to forming inclusive and diverse project teams, we give participants a chance to form their own teams using dossier cards. Similar devices will be provided as an aid to learn about all theories and principles. All these exercises require collaboration among team members and mock real-life situations. The knowledge obtained during such engaging experiences is then recapped and tested on the tablet. This completes the whole cycle of learning, starting from theoretical knowledge, through hands-on practical applications, to finally testing the new knowledge. This type of training keeps the participants entertained and emotionally motivated to further learning. Adventure-based learning, of course.